everyone, it's Zuzu and yes, yo yo robun chun juju nida and today I wanted to show you how to make a binder from a K-pop album. I've seen people make these on TikTok and Instagram but I couldn't find a clear tutorial so that's why I thought I would make one for you. In this video I'll be making a K-pop photo card binder from an 80s and Dreamcatcher album. I wanted to make a binder like this because I already have this binder as you can see in the video but I actually don't like it that much and I would like to make more personalized binders for my K-pop groups that I collect. So let's just make this 80s and Dreamcatcher album. For this project I'm only using damaged albums because it pains my heart to damage a perfectly fine album. I received these albums with damage during shipping and this is a really good way to reuse an album that has been damaged without throwing it away. I do not recommend using albums that do not have a structure that is similar to this 80s or Dreamcatcher album. This is the equipment list, I'll put everything in the description box down below with the links to the items that I've used. A fair bit of warning because I've made this mistake before. Please, please measure the metal binding clips and the photo card pages to the album. First, I bought some metal binding clips that were too long for the album, so it didn't fit. I had to buy smaller ones. And then these photo card pages are actually a bit too wide for the 80s album, so I have to buy ones that are smaller, like this one that is just three photo cards in one. I use these for the Dreamcatcher album and it fit perfectly. Now let's get started. First we need to remove this inner box, so this inner layer. We're going to cut everything open and then I'm just pulling very carefully and cutting my way because uh, this part is glued to the outer box. So we're just going to carefully remove it. Take your time, cut slowly, pull a little bit and then eventually it will come off. Don't worry too much about the way it looks, we will cover it all up later. Let's clean it up a little bit. I'm just pulling away the excess paper. And if you want with the X-Acto knife, you can also cut away some glue blobs that are still on there. And then yeah, we, we've got the beginning of a binder as you can see. Next we're going to measure where we want our metal binder clip to be. I really want it to be centered, so that's what I'm measuring right here. Once you're happy, use a pencil to make a little marking so that you know where you need the holes to be. As you can see, I did it twice because this metal binder needs two holes. This part is going to be a little bit messy, but I put the point of my X-Acto knife onto the marking that I've made and I'm just swishing it around so that it's making a hole. Once you can see a little hole on the other side, I'm going to use a pointy object and just spear it right through. I think this thing that I'm using is usually used for gardening and plants. But if you have a different kind of object that works the same way, that's completely fine. What I'm doing is just pushing it through the hole to make sure that the hole is big enough for the metal clip. The reason why I go through the hole from the back side is so that everything is pushed to the inside. So the whole ugly bit will be on the inside, which will be hidden later on by the metal clip. And then repeat for the second hole. And I'm just going to put the screws in. As you can see, they're all in. They're not too long, but that's okay. And then I place the metal clip on top and I'm just tightening the screw with the top part by just turning it around. It will still be quite loose, so back to the screw, I'm using a screwdriver to tighten it up more. This was the only screwdriver that I have, so it's a bit too small, but it will be fine. 
And now your album is a binder, but we still have the ugly side, so let's cover it up. To cover it up, I'm actually going to use the photo book. This is an extra photo book that I have. And yes, it does pain me to rip it apart like this, but we're going to reuse these pages. Just cut it open on one side. And after you've done that, it's actually quite easy to tear the pages away from the binding. So just be a little bit careful and just tear them slowly. After you've torn the pages out, you might want to clean it up a little bit and cut a straight line to take away the raw edges. But if you like the raw edges, then you can also leave them. And then you can just cut up any picture that you want to use and just play around and see what design you like best. And then once you're happy with the design, just glue it all down and your binder is done. So here's one of the designs. I really like it because it reminds me a bit of a diary, but I also like this one. It's a bit more calm because it's a bigger picture. But I could also glue the stickers right here. Actually, this is my least favorite option, but it could be an option. Or I could just use a group picture, very clean, very simple. So here is my 80s binder. As you can see, the photo card pages are a little bit too wide, so I'll be ordering some new ones that will fit better. But for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show it like this. And then I chose the first design that I showed in the video. Yeah, I really like this. And I also added some stickers on top. I think it really binds it all together. So now all that's left to do is to put in some photo cards. Dreamcatcher album I did the exact same thing except on the inside I used some plain regular green paper instead of the photo book to have a cleaner look but it's entirely up to you what you want to do and then yeah we also need to add some photo cards in this new binder And that's it, your photo card binders are done. I really love them, they look so cute. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what you think. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.